takes here. <laughs> sorry, sorry, um, sorry, oh, sorry. Oh, oh, oh. So, yeah, you guys all have some Oh, it's cool. Um, I just want to say real quick, like, a word about Emily. Um, it's been a cool journey with her, just like as a friend from the day she got here. She, God really highlighted her to me. She's put her on my heart. She's kind of like a little sister to me. So this is like such an honor. I just want you to know that like, well, this is the first time I've ever baptized anybody. So I'm so excited to see it real. Um, but yeah, I, I cannot tell you like how much growth I've seen in her. Like it's just been truly amazing from day one. Like the Lord has truly set her free from a lot, from a lot of stuff. Um, and she's never been baptized before. Obviously she wasn't baptized as a kid but really felt like this was a, a really good opportunity to take hold of that. Uh, so I just want to say, like, as a friend, I love you. I'm so proud of you. And even if you're going home, like, I, you know, never, I'll never consider you not a part of our team. Like, you will carry with us, um, for sure. So, but I'm so proud of you, and um, I just want to pray for you. But. So, Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for Emily. Lord, we thank you for bringing her here. Uh, we thank you for uh, just putting this time in her path as a time in her life that you just can teach her more about who you are God and Father I thank you and I just rejoice with you about the victories that she's that she has had in her life these past two months God and Father I just and I just bless you just with an intimate relationship with the Father that from this day forward that you would live your life as a daughter of the King and never uh, for one second live your life uh, from any place but that identity. So Father, I thank you for, for the woman that stands before you today and is publicly declaring that she will die to her rights and live as a, as a daughter of the King, as a, as a Christ follower. She has heard the good news and she has obeyed it and she has accepted it, Father, and it's such an honor to stand with someone and agree with them uh, about that decision. So Father, I just pray a blessing over Emily and agree with her and stand with her today as a friend, as a brother, um, just as someone just to take part in this, in this celebration. So Father, we love you and rejoice in what your son did on that cross, Father. We, we just thank you so much for sending your son. And Emily, I just bless you again just with the intimacy uh, of that relationship with you, Father. I, I just bless you with a, a long life of just fruitfulness, of peace in the Lord, of joy in the Lord. I just want to call out you are someone who is just like I, I call her my little fireball because that's who you are you are someone who lives uh, you, you have such a fiery spirit and I just pray that from this day forward uh, you would live at, at a place of fire in the Lord that father I, I ask that you would bring many to your name through Emily that she would be um, such a powerful disciple for you that she would call forth your name and people will follow us when I affirming you that you're a leader, you're definitely a leader, and that people will follow by your example. And so, Father, we thank you, and we love you, uh, and, and we love them, and it's such an honor, a blessing, an exciting occasion to uh, get to do this. So, let's go. <laughs> Just like mute over there, we could pray for her. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. 